another episode of Cooking with Debs. Today I'm making a recipe that takes me right back to my childhood. Um, I bought a new recipe book the other day and as I was turning the pages I found this recipe and I just thought I've got to make that on Cooking with Debs and it's called Melting Moments. So in here I've got 100 grams of margarine or you can use butter but you just need to make sure that it's a bit softened and I'm going to add 80 grams of sugar. This is just ordinary granulated. And I'm just going to beat them together until they're soft and fluffy. I've also got a few drops of vanilla essence. Extract, vanilla extract. I'm going to add into that one egg. And then we need some flour. I've got self-raising flour and we need 160 grams of self-raising flour. 160 grams of self-raising flour. Okay, now this should all come into a dough that you can mold with your hands. My egg was a medium egg. If you're using a, a large egg, you might need to um, increase the flour a little bit. Just mix it together and see how it feels. I've got my oven preheated to um, about 180 degrees, which is about gas hot four. Um, my oven tends to run a little bit hot, so um, you could cook it slightly hotter at gas mark 5 or 190. So I'm just going to try and bring it together with my hands. And I'm going to roll, roll this into small balls and then roll it into the oats. So that's why you need it to be a little bit sticky so that the oats will stick to it. And then onto a greased baking tray and I'll show you what to do. And I'm just cutting some glacé cherries in half and they'll go onto the top of the cookies. Okay, so take a little ball, roll it all over in the oats. Get it nice and covered. Pop it onto the grease and grease baking tray, flatten it down a little bit and pop a bit of glacé cherry in the middle and then continue until you've done them all. Now we don't always show you these shots because um, we usually just put photographs at the end but I just wanted to show you um, my biscuits that remind me of my grandma and I'm going to pop one on the plate that used to be my grandma and granddad's. Thanks for watching. Oh, they took about 14 minutes in my oven, so somewhere between 10 and 15. Just have a little check on them and see if they look done.